it's just the noob side of me showing, but um, I'm having really good luck farming today. On one of my herb patches, I got 17 lana dimes using, of course, using a uh, um, one of those, what are they called? The juju farming potions. And um, I've never farmed snake grass before, but holy crap, you get so much snake grass out of each one. I almost got a full inventory, and I've done two of these. I've gotten three seeds. And I have gained about 4k experience from just one allotment. So we're going to go to the arty one and I'm going to capture one on screen. So for those of you guys who don't have the level to do snake grass. Um, I actually am not putting any compost on it whatsoever. I don't know if that will help my yields or not. Or decrease my yields or not. But um, as you can see I have lilies there. They require the hard Falador task set, and they protect your allotments, everything except for the herb patch, from getting diseased. And that's just so good. It's awesome. I also have the scroll from Dungeoneering that gives you a chance to get a seed back, or get your seeds back. And so far, out of one patch, it's already happened once. Almost got another full inventory of Snapegrass. I know Snapegrass isn't exactly the most valuable thing in the world, but I'm... I'm almost beginning to think that buying the seeds could be potentially worth it, but only if you actually have the scroll from Dungeoneering, because the seeds can be pretty costly, and every time you can just get seeds, it really helps. Um, I got all of these seeds. Oh, that was a really terrible yield there. Um, I had actually gotten all my seeds when I was thieving dwarves, and I've gotten... I think I got about 30 of them. I don't remember how many I got. I think we're done with those teleports, so we can just cabbage port here. Um, but, man, I can't begin to tell you how awesome these patches are. 80 experience each. Um, when you're getting about... And it looks cool. When you get about uh, 20 per patch, about 40 each, um, and you're harvesting at 80, it's about 3.2k. Um, per allotment, which is awesome. And there we go, we broke the 35k mark, which means that on my next tree run, I'll have 83 farming. Awesome. Just watch that inventory fill up. <laughs> oh man, just keeps going. And yeah, we ran out of inventory space, holy cow. This is just amazing experience. Wow. I, <laughs> you know, I guess it did require a first or an on-hand experience to say that the farming update Jay did was actually a good one. Um, right now I've almost got two inventories from just one allotment patch. That's just crazy good. Um, We'll price check after I do my last area. I think that's in Canifus. Yep. We're on the last patch here. Right now we're doing pretty good. Pretty good. We haven't gained any seeds since that one, so I'm guessing it was just that 10%. That was a really bad patch right there. Alright, we're going to price check this. It's probably going to be pretty terrible. And we're going to compare it to, let's see here, 3, 6, 6 times 4, 24 um, Snapegrass seeds. I'm going to include my Snapegrass seeds in my overall like price because you're doing a ton of allotments and there's a good chance that you'll get them back. Alright, so that means we got about 84k on a Snapegrass run. Is that good? Well, seeing that um, in order to make this beneficial, each patch needs to get 24k, it's not beneficial at all to do this. Um, I still think it's good experience if you get this stuff from like thieving. I definitely wouldn't sell the seeds. They're really good experience. I mean, I went from, I think it was 38k experience all the way down to... Or I was in 42k experience and I made it all the way down to 31k just on allotment patches. That's pretty good. We're, so, um, 
Yeah, snake grass, pretty fun, looks cool. Just wanted to post a little farming video for you guys, and we'll see you all next time.